right, President Obama, you know what I've noticed when I do your program? I go over uh, and the audience, they love President Obama, your audience, the guys who sit in the little uh, bleachers. That you, it, That's right. For them, it's like going to Lourdes. Uh, to go to your <laughs> show because they know they're going to get many have been healed. Right. Yes. They, they know There's they're no going to get Obama, and, uh -huh. he, and it's going to be so. It's perceived that you are a big fan of the president. Has uh -huh. that changed at all? The perception yeah. from the people at Lords. No. Let me rephrase the question. All right. How's President Obama doing so far? Well, that's a, that's a very broad question. I think in some areas uh, he, he seems to be doing very well, but it, I think it depends on on how you're looking at it. But how do you look at it, John Stewart? How do I look yes. at how he's doing? Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm torn. They're, they're, uh, for me, I feel like I can't tell if he's a Jedi master playing chess on a three-level board way ahead of us or if this is kicking his ass. So, I'm so you really don't know? Oh, I think it's very difficult to say. For one thing, those types of broad uh, uh, analysis, you know, how's he doing, it doesn't lend itself to a very easy answer. I think there are certain areas uh, that he seems to have made progress or stabilized uh, certain areas. I'm appreciative of the fact that uh, he has tried to uh, re-engage the regulatory mechanism of the wow, government. Wow, the regulatory mechanism? Regulatory mechanism. That's way over my head. The mechanism. What is that? And you're 6'5". Yeah, and I have no idea so what you just that's said. That's like I was throwing a Marcus Colston. I mean, yeah. that was like uh, uh, jumping out there. So uh, what is the, the idea that uh, we would have people there checking if there was lead in our toys. Okay, that so, kind of so protecting the folks using the federal government's power, he's made strides in doing that. You know, that's a pretty smart analysis. You know, a lot of people don't think you're smart. Thank you very much. You know, wow. Did you writers come up with that, or did you? No, they're in my pocket. Right. I have I always? Do you have a few little thing? In it? You know, some of those guys like have that little. Yeah, thing no, they I tell got you. the IFB. Regulatory. Here's mechanism. what I don't understand: You're right. the top-rated show by far on the top-rated network. And by look, far. I, I like Staples as much as the next guy. But right. can a brother get a soft chair? No. Or a, we like want a people, table that's not we plexiglass? Want, you're lucky you're not hanging from your thumbs. All right. We want all people right. uncomfortable out here, all okay? Right. I'm very uncomfortable. Um, all right, so you think that he's doing okay in some areas. Certain jobs. And, and not okay in others. Give me a not okay. Uh, I think his ability to articulate, I think uh, he has decided that Congress is an equal branch of government. Huge mistake. So his ignore inability... Ignore Congress, in your opinion. Absolutely right. ignore Congress. Go, go, got, you got to go, look... Uh, Addington and, and the Bush administration established the unitary executive. They established the power of the executive. Right. You can't just walk in there as the next guy and say, let's go back to power sharing. three equal branches. No good. No. Right. You got to go in there, my friends. Oh, Yo, you want to pass a law? I don't like the signing statement. Here's right. how we're going to do health care. Boom, boom, boom. You don't like it? You, you get in line. So he's, brother. he's been too much of a team player. Now, he, he's uh, uh, not, not articulating clearly enough the direction he wants to move legislatively. Okay. It allows too much room for uh, different narratives to take hold. For instance, a, a narrative that, that might emanate from, you know... A, a, a the no-spin zone. From here. From a news organization. You know, that's actually of, of another astute point, and I, you've shocked me twice now with the regulatory thing. By the way, thing. did you notice I used the word ilk? Uh, I did, but I ignored it. Right. But anyway, <clears throat> so you say that President Obama, yes. instead of driving home a few pieces of legislation so that everybody can understand what he's doing, that's right. uh, Using gathers, the bully pulpit gathers to too many people under the tent, and there's too much discussion, that's right. thereby uh, leading to too much sniping, and you don't get anything done. Not even so much sniping, as much as once you allow in, in a vacuum of power, what will assume power in Washington are special interests and lobbyists. So if you allow too much uh, nitpicking on the edges of legislation, it will be necessarily uh, turned into a type of lobbyist gruel. Lobbyist gruel. Lobbyist gruel. Right. That's the, 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 the porridge that the lobbyists would, would eat. Excellent. Okay. Uh, they'll, they'll come in there and they'll say, oh, yeah, you want to you negotiate better prices on pharma, uh, pharmaceuticals? Yeah, see, here's the thing. We can't have that. So you got to pull that down there. Without making a strong case to the public, you, you have no leverage because the real power takes place... Let me let me Behind let me that. distill you see what this I'm doing so either I can here? understand. Can we get it. the table? Can we let, get the table? What I'm doing? You see what I'm doing here? Yeah, I see it. That's very what's going on here. Okay, it's it's very impressive. Let me just distill it so even I can understand it. Now okay? I'm a spider. This, Wait, this, hold on. Okay, very good. You want some crayons? We no. can we can do that. Okay. Thank uh, you. It's like he's, being at the ground gotta, round. He's got to talk to the folks and stop with the pinheads in Washington and stop going. Okay, now, uh, what about these evil Republicans blocking everything he does? They don't, you know, those Republicans. They don't want anything. Right. They want nothing. They stand for nothing. Well, how do we put up with them? Why do we put up with these people? Well, I would think you, you, you put up with them because this allows you to consolidate your power. My power? Personally, you mean? And, and the, the Fox organization, which is... You think it's just Republicans? Yeah, no, the shadow government. 
You, you know how all this works, right? No, I really don't. But let me let me get a chalkboard. Well, don't don't, is Glenn, is don't get into Fox get a News. Yet. Yeah, don't don't all get right. into Fox News yet. We're going right. to have plenty right. of that. Okay, we'll do that later. But, but do you believe that the Republicans are mm -hmm. blocking this just because they want to embarrass Obama and get him out of there? They block everything. They I don't, don't like know it. if it's purely because they would like to Obama, uh, embarrass Obama. Right. I don't know what their motivation is, but it seems pretty clear that they would prefer not to do anything unless it's the thing they would like to do. Well, that's, but, you know, now that they have parties, though? now that they have the supermajority of 41 in the Senate, right. I think they should be able to put through whatever they want to put. But through. I told President Obama gently that, that if he gives the Republicans something like tort reform, OK, that he says, look, we'll include right. in the health care bill. Absolutely. But again, that goes back to not articulating clearly enough what your tent posts are for the legislation. But, but the president won't give the GOP anything. He's well, nothing in there. That I, I disagree give with that. What, what did they get? What did the president give him? Uh, well, when, when he had, I don't know if you saw, there was a, a, a press conference that he did with the Republicans. Yes, I saw. And uh, he, he was talking about tax credits. Uh, which was for small a business, right? Which okay. was a Republican idea, and he pointed to the guy yeah. uh, who did it, and then he was. But talking that'll about, get through. Tax credits are business. Then he was talking through. about tort reform, and he said, "Look, uh, I would like to put tort reform on the table, but uh, even the CBO says it's only about five billion a year, maybe not two percentage points off of what medical costs are. But I'm happy to talk about it. Why? So, just put it in. It, just as you said, he's talking about there, it too much. Just put it in." He hasn't put anything in. That's, right. that's, that's what why I'm the Republicans saying. don't like it. They, they, they should give us something. That, that's not why the Republicans don't like it. He has given them many different angles. For instance, even in the stimulus plan, a full third of that was tax cuts, which you would think it was like at the State of the Union when he said, uh, and we cut taxes for 95 percent of middle class Americans. And everybody clapped and the Republicans just sat there like this. Tax cuts. That sounds vaguely familiar. Something right. I, you know, if that was but Reagan you know, who said that, I'd be you up know on as my well feet. As I do. Everybody's going to pay more uh, next year with this unbelievable budget. Now, I have to quote, uh, you know, Howard Kurtz. Am from I supposed Washington to just Post? let that go? Or is that all right? Washington Post, Howard Kurtz, you know, like that? You, you no, 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 no. The, the, the budget he, thing. Everybody's yeah. Gonna pay well, more. we're going to switch topics All now because right. you're confusing me. Um, <laughs> Washington Post, Howard Kurtz says that yeah. you're, you're now being too tough on Barack Obama, and your audience may turn on you. And oh. during one of the telecasts, may as in the movie Frankenstein, get tortures and pitchforks and right. come at you right. in, 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 in a... We uh, have a tremendous security team. I actually right. do my show with a moat around okay, the right. so Because you are turning on the president. I don't have any problem. Um, Am I turning on? Well, if Howard, I, I, if that's Howard what Howard Kurtz, Kurtz thinks. It. Yeah, he thinks you're turning on. Yeah. Well, they say... Is that as, the kind of guy you are? Would you, as would Howard you Kurtz goes, your, so goes Frumpkin. Would you turn on your guy? Is that the kind of guy you are? Uh, well, there's so much to unpack in your statement there. <laughs> Would I turn on my guy? Yeah. Is that the kind of guy I am? Because your audience, uh, as, as I said, that we opened mm -hmm. up with Lords. I mean, they don't want you to mock them. How do you know so much about my audience? Because I've been have on you, four times. Have you been I've been on your show outside? four times. But you are a very, if, I don't know if you realize this, provocative figure. Or at least you used to be. You used to be a very provocative figure. What happened to Remember me? Remember five years ago? You stayed the same, and the rest of the organization metastasized around you. <laughs> You're fo you're now you're like now I'm the voice of reason. Right? You're like the Mr. Miyagi of Fox. You're okay. just sitting alone in your garden doing a bonsai tree while the while the young Jedi's run and play. Yeah, but somehow it works, you know, Stuart. I'm uh, you know what I'm talking about. All right, now look in this article <laughs> by Howard Kurtz. Yes. this is the quote: Stewart has clearly become an important cultural arbiter. All right, he's pulled off the trick of being taken seriously when he wants to be and taken frivolously when he wants to be. Now, the statement that you have become an important cultural arbiter. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack in that, that one as that well. Is, that is frightening, though. Do, do you understand the implications of you being important in any context? Well, I think my, my family loves me. <laughs> I mean, if that's your, what you're suggesting. I'm just, I'm just stunned that this has no. found its way into listen, print. Listen, Mr. Rowe, I'm just happy to be in the major leagues here. Thanks for calling me up to the show. <laughs> uh, you All know, right. Listen, I don't, I don't take any of that stuff seriously. When you deliver your stuff, are you cognizant of the fact that your audience are primarily stone slackers who love Obama. And when you criticize Obama, <laughs> right, you may be turning on them. Does that enter into your mind? I, uh, here's what I, what I do with the show. We don't think about who is receiving it. We think about how it feels to us. All right. So we if have it's an funny to you, you're going to do it. That's right. Okay. Or if it, if it feels like a valid piece of absurdity to put out there, we, we vet things internally. I can't, whatever you say, someone's not going to like. Okay, that's good. Whether I mean, in your that's audience the way I do or not it. in your audience. Yeah, I don't calculate what my audience wants to hear, you obviously. You can't. It's, can't. it's impossibility. All right, now. And it, wouldn't, it, it would make your show... Uh, Final question about you and your show, and then we'll get on to Fox All News. Right. Okay? Yes. Do you feel badly when you and your pinhead writers <laughs> take, take things out of context? You know, cut First clips of all, do you, can, do you I, think that? can I get some credit 
for hiring pinheads. So few companies these days will go out and hire